combination of basic logic gates from three basic circuits AND gate, OR gate and NOT gate we can make any digital circuits combination of few digital circuits discussed here first one is NAND gate NAND gate is a combination of uh, AND gate and NOT gate the output of AND gate is connected to the input of NOT gate and the boolean expression for NAND function is it is AND gate so A dot B and connected to NOT gate so A dot B bar here is the truth table for NAND gate since it is first gate is AND gate so A dot B operation can apply so 0 multiply 0 0 1 multiply 0 0 0 multiply 1 0 1 multiply 1 1 and it is connected to NOT gate so inverting this data you will get the NAND gate 0 inverting it is 1 0 1 0 1 and 1 2 0 and this is the symbol for the NAND gate this bubble shows the inverting AND gate inverting AND gate so NAND gate is nothing but the inverting AND gate AND gate and here one thing is noted the output from a NAND gate is always 1 except when all of the inputs are 1 then the output is 0 second combination of uh, logic gate is NOR gate and the NOR gate is combination of OR gate and NOT gate the boolean expression for NOR gate is since it is NOR gate so A plus B inverting so A plus B bar and the truth table first we apply the operation of OR gate so 0 0 0 1 plus 0 1 0 plus 1 1 1 plus 1 1 and inverting this data you can get the NOR gate 0 to 1 1 to 0 1 to 0 1 to 0 and the symbol of logic cat is OR gate and this bubble sign shows the inversion so inverting OR gate it means NOR gate inverting OR gate means NOR gate here the output from a NOR gate is high only when all the inputs are low if any of the inputs is high then the output is low if all the inputs are low then the output is high if any inputs is high then the output is low this is NOR gate third one uh, this is the NAND gate and NAND gate can be used as a universal gate why because you can make the AND gate, NOT gate and OR gate from the NAND gate that's why it's universal so first we take the NOT gate 
this is not get and if you want to make not get from the NAND get so this is the connection here the input two inputs are joined together and make one because not get has only one input so this is the one NAND gate is used so input is A and output is inverting the input A bar so here basically A is equal to B because B is connected to A so two inputs joins together and make a single input so if A is 0 so B is equal to A so B also 0 the output is 1 a is equal to 1 b is also 1 and output is 0 so by using the single NAND gate you can make a NOT gate you can make inverting inverter gate NOT gate you can and from the NAND gate also you can make the AND gate by using the two NAND gate you can make the AND gate here is the two input of first NAND gate and the output is connected to second NAND gate and second NAND gate two input again join together and make a single connection so this will work as a not get so if we prepare the truth table to zero zero and since it is a uh, end gate so a dot b so zero into zero zero but this is NAND gate so the output will be invert so 0 into 0 it, it is 0 converting it 1 for this and 1 into 0 means 0 converting it 0 1 0 into 1 means 0 converting it it is 1 1 into 1 means 1 converting it 0 so up to here then this output goes to second and get in input and it's work as a not get so not get input 1 output 0 input 1 output 0 input 1 output 0 input 0 output 1 so by using the two and get you can make a end gate NAND gates can be connected to produce NOT gate, AND gate and OR gate so final one is OR gate by using 3 NAND gate you can make a OR gate here again two inputs join together make a single so this is not get it's, it's work as a not get this is also work as a not get and it is connected to NAND gate and again it will make the inversion whatever data you got from here so first one A it's non gate so A your output is A bar B output is B bar so A A bar so 0 to 1 1 to 0 0 to 1 1 to 0 another non gate work as a not get so B here is B bar 
zero to one, zero to one, one to zero, one to zero. Not get. And here it's connected to NAND gate. And NAND gate means A dot B bar. So here A into B, one into one. Answer is one. Inverting it zero. Zero into one. Answer is zero. Inverting it one. One into zero means zero. Inverting it one. Zero into zero. Zero inverting it one. So zero one one one. By using the three NAND gate, we can make a OR gate. Another one is ex exclusive OR gate. The name exclusive OR gate is usually shortened to X OR gate. The X OR gate can be obtained by using OR gate, AND gate, and NOT gate. So here is the two table. This is for the OR gate, and this is for the X OR gate, and this is the logic symbol for the X or get. It's similar to or get only the difference is here one curved shape sign is connected or uh, one curved shape sign is shown here in the input. If we make a truth table from this circuit so here you can see two not get is connected and the output of the NOT gate is connected to the input of the AND gate. Another input is directly coming from here. Similarly, here the output of the NOT gate connected to input of the AND gate. And another input is connected to directly here. And this two output is connected to OR gate. So A, B, first operation here a bar because it's not get here is b bar because it's not get so your 0 to 1 1 to 0 0 to 1 and 1 to 0 from b to b bar so it's 0 to 1 0 to 1 1 to 0 1 to 0 then this is to end gate so output is here it's a bar and this is b so a bar dot b and here a dot b bar this one so a bar dot b 1 into 0 means 0 0 into 0 means 0 1 into 1 means 1 0 into 1 means 0. Similarly, you will get this one. And the finally, the OR get. OR get means plus. So Y plus, the output is Y prime plus, plus Y double prime. So 0 plus 0, 0, 0 plus 1, 1, 1 plus 0, 1, and 0 plus 0, 0. So this is the exclusive or get let's take few example if this is the circuit is given to you you need to make a truth table just simply if you see here this is the or get and this is the end get for the input a and b and this is since it this is OR gate so this operation will be done A plus B A plus B so the OR gate output is connected to AND gate input and this input is directly connected to AND gate input so A B y prime a plus b c 
0 plus 0 0 1 plus 0 1 0 plus 1 1 1 plus 1 1 and the output of this circuit is a multiply a plus b because this is end gate y prime multiply a so y prime 0 multiply a 0 multiply 0 0 1 multiply 1 1 1 multiply 0 0 and 1 multiply 1 is equal to 1 so this is the output of this circuit let's take another example we have two input one a is connected to not gate b is directly connected to and get input and another connection is connected to not get this output is connected to or get and not get connection is connected to or get input if we make the truth table a b first one a bar and the second b also it should be b bar and the output is a bar into b here so this is y prime and this y prime since it is or get y prime plus another input is b bar y prime plus b bar so this is the final output so first a will convert to a bar 0 to 1 1 to 0 0 to 1 1 to 0 and it is connected to end gate so a bar multiply b a bar dot b so th that is y prime 1 multiply 0 and 0 0 multiply 0 and 0 1 multiply 1 means 1 0 multiply 1 means 0 now the b prime this is connected to not gate so b sorry b bar so 0 to 1 0 to 1 1 to 0 1 to 0 and final output is y prime plus b bar y prime 0 plus 1 1 1 0 plus 1 1 1 plus 0 1 0 plus 0 is equal to 0 so this is the truth table we can prepare if the circuit is this the next next is the encoder and decoder this is the calculator if you press the digit 5 this encoder will convert this decimal into the binary form 0101 the encoder work is convert the decimal form to the binary form and decoder work is convert the binary into the decimal form so this encoder will convert this decimal file into the binary form 0101 and this signal goes to the central processing unit and digital circuit can do the processing here and again it gives the binary form 010 this decoder will convert this binary 010 into the decimal file the output so in the if you use the digital circuit then you also required encoder and decoder because in the real world We 
default that um, means in the real world uh, earlier we used the analog circuit so that is the actual real world but when we use the digital we need to convert digit decimal because decimal is real world right that's why we need to convert this decimal into binary and again we need to convert binary into decimal so we can get the real result okay so what is the advantages and disadvantages of digital electronics so this is the advantages digital systems are generally easier to design because in the digital circuits it is not required to obtain precise value of voltage we, are, we need to only care about the range it is high or low and in the digital systems we easily design the switching circuits by using of transistor digital circuits provide greater accuracy and precision because in the digital circuits you can add many digits while in the analog circuit the precision it's up to 3 to 4 digits because the voltage and current is directly depend on the circuit component but in the digital circuit you can add many switching circuits so and you can increase the digit and so you can increase the accuracy like in the analog accuracy up to 4 digit but in the digital circuit you can make accuracy up to many digits by adding switching circuits in digital circuits are less affected by noise previous voltage or the full voltage noise can be easily <coughs> or the not obtained in the digital circuit as compared to the analog circuit and more digital circuitry can be fabricated on IC chips like in the analog circuit we need to use the capacitor inductor but in the digital circuits this fabrication is quite easy on the IC chip and information storage is easy with digital circuits in the disadvantages the real world is mainly analog However, the digital circuit can handle only digital signals and it also requires an encoder and decoder. So the digital circuit's price is high as compared to analog circuits. And uh, other there are the situations where using only analog techniques, it's much simpler and more economical. For example, the process of signal amplification is most easily accomplished using analog circuit. But nowadays, the advantages 
of the digital circuits is very higher as compared to these advantages. That's why the world are moving very fast into digital electronics and digital circuits. Okay, so in the next lecture, we will learn the Boolean algebra.